folks, this is Jason and hope you are okay today. We are going to be looking at the Jesus Seminar. This is a bunch of scholars uh, that have been around for quite a few years now. They often hit the headlines and um, basically they're important scholars that we need to take note of. Now I don't agree with them. Uh, there are many many New Testament scholars out there and stud, uh, scholars in historical Jesus studies uh, many many that do not agree with these scholars but I think it's important uh, to just know who these people are and why they're important and how we can give an intellectual response uh, to them um, so of the main people of the uh, Jesus Seminar is Robert W. Funk and John Dominic Crossan. Um, Dominic Crossan is a world-renowned scholar. There's over 30 professional scholars um, and about 100 associates to this uh, group. They are influential New Testament scholars. Uh, the whole point of the seminar is to compile or bring together the original words of Jesus by deciding on a scholarly consensus. From this, the seminar seeks to uh, popularize the research that they found. Uh, a number of works have been uh, written by the group. Uh, on the Gospel of Mark, sayings of the Gospel of Q, the Gospel of Thomas, etc. Um, the basic ideas of the seminar um, are as follows. They basically believe that Jesus taught his disciples orally and that Jesus wrote nothing. They believe that the Messiah spoke Aramaic um, and the Gospels were written in Aramaic and the Gospels were written in Greek um, and they give priority to the Gospel of Mark before Matthew and Luke now some of these information we would agree with uh, we would agree that the Lord Jesus spoke in Aramaic we would agree that uh, the Gospels were written in Greek uh, but then it gets a bit murky um, they talk about Luke and Matthew uh, bring together a, another source called the Q material um, that's something that some scholars would disagree with um, they also would talk about uh, the ancient culture um, is not the same as modern culture and we would agree with that uh, especially in the area of oral tradition um, but then there are some serious departures. These scholars put a lot of emphasis on the Gospel of Thomas, which we would say uh, is, is not that important. Uh, they would say that the uh, Gospels were written after AD 70. Uh, conservative scholars would put the Gospels prior to AD 70. The Jesus Seminar put a, a wedge between the Jesus of history and the Jesus of faith. In other words, we can't really get to the real historical Jesus. And they would clearly state that the Synoptic Gospels are more historical than the Gospel of John. They have some methodological issues. They say that oral tradition is fluid, but uh, there is a variety of different oral traditions. There is uh, historical oral tradition, etc. That uh, they're not up to speed at the moment. Uh, they need to be a bit more up to speed on that kind of research. Uh, So what 
do we what what if you had to get a kind of picture of the Jesus seminar Jesus they would say that Jesus had no real relation with the twelve that he didn't uh, know that he was going to suffer or didn't say anything about that and that he didn't do any miracles and he was not judgmental basically it, it's a kind of middle class touchy touchy feely feely good Jesus that they've invented um, It has to be noted that these scholars do n are not representative of the whole field of scholarship in New Testament studies. Uh, there are many, many, many scholars uh, that are not represented within their group. This is just one, uh, one specific group, and there are many other groups, many other uh, scholars that take a different opinion. Um, the criteria of dissimilarity is also suspect. Uh, they put a lot of emphasis on that as scholars. Uh, they would say something is historical if it doesn't accord with Judaism or Christianity. So if you find some historical information within the Gospels that doesn't report to be Jewish or Christian, then it's probably authentic. That's a very dangerous way of going about about um, historical research and um, really I think uh, it's a flawed methodology because obviously Christianity is rooted in Judaism and Christianity had its own sphere uh, field so to say that we can't really appreciate these two other as these two aspects as being really historical uh, to my mind it's just crazy uh, the seminar people push out eschatology uh, or end times about Jesus. They they don't put much emphasis on that. Um, basically, uh, these scholars often make. G uh, the, his, the historical Jesus purport to their own cultural perspective. So Dominic Cross in it, who's one of the leading lights of this group, uh, has written quite a lot about Jesus, and I, I, I quite like him. I think he's a wonderful man and a wonderful scholar, but I completely disagree with him, and I believe that he's just completely uh, not biblical and not sound in his understanding of true Christianity. But um, he he kind of makes a Jesus in his own image, he's Irish and so uh, the Irish rebelled against the British Empire to get back the nation and, and, and so basically Jesus is some kind of like uh, Irish revolutionary <laughs> um, kind of traveling uh, uh, philosophical kind of social do-gooder type of thing so um, so what I'm saying is these Jesus Seminar scholars, uh, because of their arbitrary historical methods, will often produce a Jesus in their own image. Um, those are my thoughts uh, on the Jesus Seminar. Don't be frightened of them. If you hear them in the news and you, you, you hear them, don't be worried about them. Uh, there are plenty massive scholars out there that you can read that debunks these kind of people. N.T. Wright, uh, just go and read N.T. Wright uh, and well you're in a different world when you read N.T. Wright, okay? So thank you for listening and take care and God bless.